Hello YouTube and welcome to another Cisco tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to execute tackle scripts on the Cisco iOS. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous video I showed you how to execute Linux command on the Cisco iOS. But in this video I'm gonna show you how to execute scripts and specially tickle scripts so tickle stands for tool command language okay so it's available uh, at version 12.3 so you must have the iOS version 12.3 in order to execute the scripts so here as you can see I'm using secure CRT in order to connect to my router but you can use party or just your console cable in order to get connected with your router or switch so first thing first let me show you what version I'm using here okay so here as you can see I'm using version 15.5 so remember if you want to execute tackle scripts you must at least have version 11 or actually 12.3 12.3 is the way to go okay so let me clear that here we go so in order to execute tackle script you must actually enable the tackle shell and in order to do that so as you can see here I'm on the privileges exec mode so in order to get the tackle shell all you have to do is to type tackle sh so the tickle shell and we hit enter and as you can see the prompt has changed it now we have this tickle inside parentheses so now we can execute our scripts so let's begin by something pretty simple for example I want to display the message the famous message hello world so here I will use a uh, tickle function co called puts so puts and inside quotes I can uh, write my message hello world here we go so the puts function actually just display text so let's execute that and see the result here we go so we have our phrase hello world that has been displayed okay we can also put that in inside the function and call this function okay so let's do it so in order to use functions or tackle functions I will use the keyword proc for procedure okay and here you gave your function a name so for example let's give it a name test and space then you must add curly braces but not here you must have this space between the name of the function which is in this case test and our curly braces then we open another curly braces and we put our script or what we gonna actually display in this case I will use just the function puts and inside quotes our message hello world Okay. here we go so now we have actually defined a function called test which has no arguments because just the curly braces after the name of our function contain nothing so I will hit enter here we go so I have nothing in order to actually execute this test function we have to call it so I will just call it its name which is in this case test and here we go we have succeeded to actually execute this function and the result is to display what is inside the cost the puts function so till now this is pretty easy pretty nice so let's uh, actually use something very practical for our Cisco routers or switches let's use loops 
in order to ping, for example, some IP addresses. So I'm still under the tackle shell, so I can use for each loop in order to execute pings, for example. So for each, and I will here uh, put a variable, let's call it, for example, IP, because we're gonna ping IP addresses and I open my curly braces and here we have to add IP addresses I want to ping so for example 192.168.1.1 let's add uh, 192.168.1.2 let's add a third one okay you can add as many as you want here we go and we're gonna loop through these IP addresses in order to ping them. So I have to open another curly braces and here we have to put the instruction that we want to execute. So in this case, I will ping the variable IP. So in order to call a variable, we have to precede it with the dollar sign and we put IP. So as I told you, you don't have to use IP as a variable name, you can use X so for example if i put here x i will get the same result okay so let's do it for each x in this uh, ip addresses i'm gonna ping them so let's uh, execute this uh, little script here here actually i have a mistake Yes, because if you see here, the first X is capital and second one is upper, uh, lower case. And here you have to know that is case sensitive. So let's uh, repeat the script and I will put the first one also lower case. Here we go. And as you can see, we have succeeded to execute our small script, which ping these three IP addresses. So as I told you, you can uh, replace this X with whatever name you want, for example, IP, if you want, like that. And you will get the same result, okay? So it's pretty nice script that you can use in order to loop through IP addresses and to ping them, for example, okay? Let me clear the screen. So I'm still under the tackle here shell, okay? We can also enter the interface configuration mode and execute some other scripts. So for example, let me first exit the tackle shell. So in order to exit the tackle shell, you, you execute the command tackle quit. Simple as that. So now I'm back in the privileged exec mode. So, for example, let me show you the description of our interfaces. So, I will use show interfaces description. Here we go. So, here I have a bunch of uh, interfaces. And as you can see for the interface fast Ethernet 3, I have as, uh, as a description 1. So, let's try to change this description here to something else. For example, I will turn it to LAN, okay? So how can I do that using tackle? Pretty easy. First thing we have to enter or to enable the tackle shell. Here we go. So now you know the command, okay? And here we have to enter the interface configuration mode. So I will use the command iOS config. Here we go. Now, we use other commands in order to actually change this, 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 this description. So I will call actually the interface between cots interface fast fast Ethernet. So you have to make sure that Ethernet first E is capital. Okay, three. Okay, and we're gonna change it to something uh, else. So we want to change 
its description okay so let's call it for example LAN interface okay here we go so here I have still have uh, actually a uh, mistake so actually I have to put all that in the same line so let's repeat this script and put it on the same line iOS config then between cuts I will try to call the fast Ethernet tree okay and I want to change its IP address or actually I want to change its description description okay and let's call it LAN interface okay now the script has been executed so I have no error so now let's go back to our privilege exec mode and see if this one description has changed to LAN interface okay so in order to quit the tickle I will use command tickle quit here we go now show interface description as you can see now before it was for the interface fast Ethernet 3 the description was 1 as you can see here and now it has changed to LAN interface okay pretty easy pretty neat one last thing let's say that you have uh, something in a file you have a script into a file and you want to execute it because all the commands that we have executed here we executed them directly into the command prompt but we can actually put them inside a file and call this file and execute it so how can we do that so pretty simple we're gonna actually create a file in the flash into our router and execute this file okay so let me clear the screen and show you how I can do that so first thing first let's uh, go to our tickle shell here we go once again and we use the function puts in order to create a file inside the flash of our router so I'll use the function puts and we put uh, what the file name inside the brackets square brackets okay so here I will open a file and the file will be in our flash okay and we can call it whatever we want let's call it for example script dot tackle tcl okay what else and we want to open this file for writing and we'll add something into it okay so this is how we can do that with put puts function okay and here we have actually to put the script that we want inside this file okay so let me show you for example let's change the description of the fast Ethernet tree to back to one interface so I will open our curly braces okay here we go so the first thing is we have to go to our interface fast Ethernet Ethernet 3 okay Ethernet 3 and we want to change its description back to one interface so remember we leave it as LAN interface now we want to change it to one interface so the description for fast Ethernet 3 okay but this commands only actually 
create a file called script.tcl into our flash so i executed so i have no error that's good so first thing first let's verify that actually indeed we have created this script.tcl file in our flash so i will exit the tcl shell here we go with the command dire i can see the files inside my flash here we go and indeed we have this script.tcl file inside our flash we can uh, open it using the cat command so the cat command as i told you we actually can execute linux commands on cisco ios so you can take a look at my previous video to show you how you can use, use that so here i will use the cat command okay and of course i'm gonna see what is inside file flash script actually that uh, script script dot tcl okay and you can see the command that we entered are here okay just one thing here you remember i forget to enter the interface configuration mode so here actually there is something missing i have to add ios config in order to execute this command so i will return back to my tickle shell here we go i will use the same function here but here i forget to enter the interface config mode so the command is that ios config so this is the whole command that we have entered inside our file here we go here we go now i think i am done here we go let's quit once again the tickle shell okay now let's see what is inside this tickle file here we go now i guess the script is perfect correct so how can we actually execute the script and verify that the description for fast ethernet 3 has been changed back to one interface pretty easy pretty simple from the privilege exec mode i can simply just type tickle shell and the name of my file okay so it's script dot tickle here we go i have no error which is good now i have to verify that show interface description and indeed we have changed back to one interface so remember before it was lan interface now it's one interface so as you can see we have successfully actually executing some tickle scripts okay in our cisco ios so that was just a brief introduction how to use some sample all what you have seen are just some simple script that you can use but of course your script can be more complex than that you can use regular expression you can use many 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 things that was just introduction to how to use or execute tickle script on the cisco ios as always i hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.